Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take the reload command and we're going to look at the different options that you could attach with it. So reload is basically the same as restarting your computer except in this case you're restarting the router. So why is this, why would you need this? Why why not just pull the plug on the router and pop it back in? Well obviously if you're on a GNS3 uh, you don't really have a physical a physical a power connection that you could pull uh, but actually on, on GNS3 what you could do is you could right click a router and you could do reload right there if you wanted to right but you know, let's pretend that you're playing on a real router if you typed in reload right here it's gonna ask you if you want to reload and that's basically restarting the router now if we type in reload and do a question mark we've got all these different commands that we could pop in after it so basically four commands though that we're really gonna mess with you could see here reload reason for reload so you could type in a reason so reloaded for um, the fast Ethernet interface was unstable you know, reloaded for you change the configuration and you just wanna be sure that everything works correctly or you change the router ID you know some some reason that would give the guy at the next shift something to uh, you know, help them out in troubleshooting if something more go happens, you know, something goes wrong. Also, it's to help you in looking at your logs. Let's say it's six months down the line and you're dealing with the same problem. So you don't want to reinvent the wheel and do another troubleshooting fix that may or may not work. So you want to see, look through your log, look at all the reloads before and see why they happened. We could also reload at a, a specific time. So reload at hit a question mark and it will ask you for the time to reload right so you could do something like reload at midnight reload all your routers might be something you want to do might not uh, I'm gonna go with might not except in extreme cases you could also do reload in so delay before reload reload in five minutes so if I put a five in there reload reason uh, you don't really need it proceed with reload sure you hit enter and then it's gonna say shutting down in five minutes okay so you wait five minutes and it's gonna it's gonna reload itself okay so how do you cancel it it's pretty, it's pretty easy type in reload again and the word is cancel right. and the reload has been canceled you also get a nice log message in there I don't have logging buffered so it's not gonna it's not gonna go in there so okay why would you use the reload in command reload in five minutes or something well if you're doing stuff like AAA new model you know AAA authentication anything with SSH login uh, local login anything like that where you have a chance of locking yourself out of the router do reload in and do say something like reload in five so if your command does lock you out well the router is going to reload in five and you're back in business right now you could do something like reload in do your configuration changes right, so we're reloading in 60 seconds you do your changes if everything is cool you can get into the router not a problem then just quickly go back in and do reload cancel right, always a, a smart idea you can also do reload in just before you do a, a debug command so if you're doing a crazy debug uh, debug IP packet detail or something like that just have that reload command reload in three let's say three minutes is good run your debug if your router happens to crash or hang or you can't get back to the router then the thing's gonna reload itself it's a good idea right so it's a quick and easy video of the reload commands simply it's reload at the enable prompt and you could do reload at, give a reason for your reload, or reload in, and give it the number of minutes you want to reload in. And always remember, if you do that, remember to type in reload cancel to cancel the pending reload if everything works correctly. That was a quick, uh, quick look into the reload command. Thanks for watching.